Welcome back readers for another read and grow story time. Today's title, The Boy Who Touched the Stars, is an autobiography written by the main character, Mr. Jose M. Hernandez himself. Every evening when I was a boy, I would look out my window and stare at the stars. Some were blue, yellow, white. Some were larger and brighter than others. Most would twinkle in the dark sky. It was as if they were alive. Later, I would learn that the ones that did not twinkle were planets. I also discovered that some stars fell from the sky, and each time I would see one falling, I hoped to find it so that I could put it in my pocket and carry it as a good lucky charm. My parents were farm workers who labored in the fields of California. After the harvest, we would drive to La Piedad Micoana, a small town in central Mexico, where my grandparents lived. I always stared at the moon through the car window while my brothers and sisters slept. It was as if the moon was following me, which made me feel very special. The moon became my best friend. With all the traveling, it was difficult to do our schoolwork and we had a hard time learning English. But everything changed when my second grade teacher, Ms. Young, talked to my parents about the importance of staying in one place for our education. My parents decided to stay in the United States and I started enjoying school. When Ms. Young found out I liked astronomy, she gave me a book titled The Sun and the Moon and the Stars that explained a lot about space. I felt like I knew a lot about astronomy when man landed on the moon. It was so exciting to actually see the astronauts on our TV. I closed my eyes and imagined myself wearing a spacesuit. That's when I decided to become an astronaut. When I shared my dream with my family, my father told me that if I really wanted that, I had to follow a recipe, identify my goal, determine how long it would take me to achieve it, and create a plan to reach it. Mom added that I should do well in school and work hard. Later, I thought of another ingredient, never give up. I was very happy because my parents believed I could be an astronaut. This meant that I was closer to touching the stars. One day while I was picking cucumbers, I heard on my pocket radio that Dr. Franklin Chang Diaz, a scientist from Costa Rica, had been selected to be a NASA astronaut. I went to the school and public libraries and borrowed books about him. I found out that we shared similar backgrounds. He did not speak perfect English like me, and he even looked like me. I thought, if he can do it, so can I. Before I knew it, I was in college. I was very excited to be one step closer to becoming an astronaut, but I was very nervous that my classes were going to be harder than my classes in high school. Each time I ran into difficulty, I would stare out my bedroom window at night and admire the stars. That helped me remember my goal and kept me going. My hard work paid off when I finally graduated as an electrical engineer. I dedicated my graduation to my family who always believed in me. I even wrote, hi mom, on the top of my graduation cap. Although I was not an astronaut yet, I was getting closer to achieving my dreams. I began working as an engineer at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. A few years later, I got married and although I was very happy with my life, I knew I had not fulfilled my dream. So I applied to NASA. They rejected my application, but I did not give up. I submitted another application listing my new accomplishments. I learned how to fly airplanes, got certified as a scuba diver, and even learned how to speak Russian. NASA rejected me 11 times, but on my 12th try, NASA finally selected me to become an astronaut. This experience taught me to never give up. After two years, I finished astronaut school and earned my wings. 
NASA assigned me to a space mission, and that is when I knew turning my dream into reality had been worth all the work. I would travel aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery to the International Space Station with six other astronauts. We were all very excited to be a part of this important mission. When the moment arrived to blast off into space, my heart was beating very fast. We entered the space shuttle, adjusted our seat belts, and anxiously awaited the countdown. Three, two, one, blast off. The space shuttle went from zero to 17,500 miles per hour and reached outer space in just eight and a half minutes. We were 280 miles high above the Earth. Once we were in space, I took off my seatbelt and started to float. I did my best Superman impersonation as I floated through the cabin. It was amazing. We spent 14 days in space, going around the planet once every 90 minutes. We conducted many experiments. When I had a free minute, I looked out the window. Earth looked so pretty from high above. We went around Earth 217 times and traveled more than 5.7 million miles on this mission. A big crowd cheered when we returned safely to Earth. The mission was a total success. When I finally had a chance to get some rest, I laid down on the grass in my backyard to gaze at the stars. It was remarkable to think that I had been up there just a few days earlier. I was finally an astronaut. I had reached the stars. I share my story because I think we can all reach our own stars if we follow my parents' recipe. Identify your goal, determine how far you are from achieving it, and create a plan to reach it. Then do well in school and work hard. And don't forget my secret ingredient, never give up. So tell me, what is your dream? Which stars do you want to touch?